Okay, this is just going to be a quick video showing you how you can boot up off the bootable DVD that you've just made of the Windows the Windows 8 uh, consumer preview, okay? So you've already downloaded it and burnt it onto a DVD and this is basically just how you'll start it up on your computer. Now, just to note, there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can either just set the boot device priority inside the BIOS or you can use the shortcut key to just select the DVD drive to boot off and we'll show you both uh, in this video. The other thing to note is I'm doing this on a brand new shiny hard drive uh, that I've just installed. Um, if you install Windows 8 over your existing operating system, you will not be able to reverse out of it. Okay, and the Windows 8 consumer preview expires. So just be very aware of that. Okay, and um, what you could also do, but it won't be shown in this video, is you could make a dual boot system and you could have your existing operating system um, alongside the Windows 8, which would be fine. Um, but definitely don't put this over your existing um, your existing operating system, okay? So we'll just begin there now. So the first thing to do is we're going to turn on the laptop there. And what we're looking out for is in the bottom right there, there's two shortcut keys. And we're going to select F2 for setup. Now it may be different on other laptops, but generally it's, generally it's the F2 key, okay? So this is going to bring us into the BIOS now in a second. And from here then what we're going to do basically is go into the <coughs> excuse me, go into the options for uh, boot device priority and we're going to make the DVD drive the number one priority, which means basically it's the first device in the machine that's going to look at when it's turning on and um, to see if it can boot up off it, okay? So we'll just give it a second here now. It does take a, a few moments alright on my machine to get into it. Okay. So we're just going, you're looking for something that's going to say like boot priority or boot sequence or something like that, okay? So you you can see there um, that it's set up that the diskette drive would be, you know, like an old floppy drive or something like that. And um, the internal HDD, which is your hard drive, USB storage device, USB storage device, which would be like a memory stick or something like that. And then you have C, CD, DVD or something like that. Okay, so they're all enabled. And on the right hand side, then you can see the order. So I have already by default set the CD or the DVD drive as the number one priority and then the hard drive. Okay, so that's fine. I can get out of that. But if it was different on your system, you could just make the DVD or the CD drive the number one in the list and it would look for that first and then um, it would just automatically boot up off it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to exit out of that. Now, the easiest thing to do basically when you want to do this is actually just to use the shortcut key and you'll see on mine it's F12 for boot options. Now it's usually F11 or F12 or something like that on most machines but it'll generally tell you and if you press that then you'll just have a simple list like this and you can select using the cursor keys which one you want to use. Now I should add, and this is most important actually, you should have your DVD, your bootable DVD in at this stage. So I just have it in, in the tray and I'm just going to put it in there now, okay? So I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds just to initially read it and once it has that done then I'm just going to select using the cursor keys the CD DVD drive to boot up off okay so I'm just going to hit enter on that and you'll see now what will happen so it should start in a few seconds. And there you go, it started to load the bootable DVD for Windows 8. Um, so it's as simple as that really. It may ask you, depending on your system, uh, instead of automatically after you clicking that, do you want to boot off the DVD? And all you have to do is hit the enter button and, you know, Bob's your uncle then. So that's it basically, just basically how you boot up off your bootable uh, DVD for Windows 8 Consumer Preview Edition.